Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada for a race many couldn't believe would ever happen. From the glitz and the glamour of the famous strip, it is time for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. 3.8 miles under the bright lights of Las Vegas. Landmarks everywhere you look, punctuating the 17 corners and two DRS zones, one of which is down the famous strip. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. It's Sergio Perez on pole today, with Pierre Gasly alongside. Considering the rest of the grid we have, Oscar Piastri, Leclerc, Norris, Bottas, The Scientist, Ocon, Albert, Sonoda, Hamilton, Sainz, Magnussen, Russell, Theo Porcher, Sargent, Dewan, Joe, Verstappen, Stroll, Hulkenberg, and Nick de Vries rounds off the grid. Now it lights out just moments away. It's time to go down to the track. Formation lap gets underway, and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. somewhere on the internal combustion engine, be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power. Focus on the driving. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Martin drivers just completed a pass for the lead of this race. And so the celebrations begin, and well-earned they are indeed. 
It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level at the very top is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers' Champion. So as they climb out of the car, the Red Bull team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. an incredible day of racing. Who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, you can't fault anything that Sergio Perez did out on the track today. He drove flawlessly, making him an easy pick. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improved their position in the championship. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. So here we are, ready to go racing for one final time this year. Another season of victories, controversies and rivalries lies in our wake. And just one challenge remains here in the United Arab Emirates on a circuit that made its spectacular debut back in 2009. Welcome to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The AS Marina circuit is made up of 3.4 miles of track featuring 21 corners with two very long straights. DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both turn 8 and turn 11 offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners as well, in particular turns 15, 16 and 17, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. It's Carlos Sainz in pole position just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Norris, Hamilton, the scientist, Gasly, Bottas, Leclerc, Joe, Verstappen, Magnussen, Ocon, Stroll, Sargent, Oscar Piastri, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, De Vries, Albert, Dewan, and Teo Porcher. Preparation's almost complete. Let's head down to the track. Here we go then. The formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Well, we'll soon find out.
strategy available on the MFT. That was a fantastic stop, faster than we were expecting. Up to speed now, let's get some heat into those tyres. Place back. Right, let's have you in at the end of this lap, please. Safety car, safety car. No overtaking, reduce your pace. Keep your delta.
Okay, the underbody's taken some damage. You might. Are you all right? Engine off. Engine off. coaster season then but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today tell me Ann, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today i feel like consistency was probably the key today there's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap if you can do that you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own and that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They've performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone of the team. Carlos Sainz extends his lead at the top, getting ever closer to securing the championship. After an incredible day of racing, who is your driver of the day, Ant? Well, you can't fault anything that Sergio Perez did out on the track today. He drove flawlessly, making him an easy pick. So then, Ferrari have now moved out of sight and out of reach. It's another triumph for the Italian team as they claim the World Constructors' Championship. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who's joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.